And naturally, one of the questions that comes to mind with this news is age. Megan is stunning at 37, but in medical terms, and this sounds crazy, <laughs> yeah. that it's considered a geriatric pregnancy. That is <laughs> stunning. Here to talk with us about the risks and the way they are changing is Kimberly Fortner from UT Medical Center. She specializes in maternal fetal medicine and an emphasis on high risk pregnancies. Thanks for being with us. Such a pleasure. Okay, so 37 considered a geriatric pregnancy. What are some of the concerns at 37 when it comes to pregnancy then? First, it's tragic for those of us who had children over 35 exactly. to be called geriatric. <laughs> exactly. However, so so some of the concerns when we think of delaying our reproduction and having babies and starting our families at above 35, sometimes there's a division and we talk about above 40 instead of just above 35. Um, so the Duchess falls between that 35 and 40 category. And so her biggest risks are first, um, there's a higher risk of pregnancy loss, early miscarriage. There's a higher risk of having diabetes or blood pressure problems during her pregnancy. Um, and then you know we all, I think generally our mind goes goes to instead of maternal risks we think of also risk to the baby so risks of down syndrome and chromosomal abnormalities in increase to some degree after 35. You know we've seen this trend as more and more women have gotten to the workforce they have delayed having families a bit and it's really encouraging though when you you look at the numbers and the resources and the hope that is available for so many women but just to talk about the changing trend 1970 less than three percent of women had their first baby at 35 or later 2012 more than 11 percent had their first baby then so what kinds of advice do you offer patients who are hoping to get pregnant because the first thing people are going to say i know from experience how old are you and then you get the reaction when you say 36 or 37. Right, so it's not a tragedy. It's um, very accepted and as you said, increasing in its prevalence to have children above 35. So the biggest things women can do is um, maintain their health, um, stay on top of recommended vaccinations, um, stay on top of your exercise and your diet. In general, a woman who doesn't smoke, gets her vaccines, keeps herself in the best health possible, is really gonna do by and large extremely well. So. Is there any other advice that you would give to someone who is wanting to get pregnant in this window or is already pregnant? Um, you just touched on wanting to, but what about if you are pregnant at this stage? What should you do to take care of yourself and the baby? So I think the biggest thing is go to your physician visits. A lot of times women are enrolled in prenatal care. Certainly early prenatal care is wonderful, but staying in those visits, um, oftentimes women will get referred from an OBGYN's office to a maternal fetal medicine office. And, and so there we'll do a kind of an extra discussion on, okay, you may need a few extra ultrasounds throughout your pregnancy. Let's talk about testing options. Would you like to know more about risk for chromosomal involvement for this pregnancy or not? So it's very tailored according to what the mom and family want. A lot of treatments and tests that help yeah. the mom too along her journey. So, That's right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It's we such a pleasure. Thank you.